Hi, I'm Professor Zubair Jahangir and this is a very important video for all CS professional students. Here I will be taking you all through the chapter wise weightage of each subject. Now this is very very important in your strategy building. Your professional subjects, there are three modules. Module 1 has three papers, module 2 has three papers and module 3 has one closed book that's corporate funding and two open book subjects. Now the very first is corporate governance. This corporate governance subject is divided into four parts. The marks allocation has already been given by the institute. The first part where you have 11 chapters, it comes for around 50 marks. Your part two comes for around 20 marks, which has only one chapter. And part three is compliances for 20 marks, two chapters and ethics is for uh, three chapters for 10 marks. Now, if I take you all through the uh, weightage, the average marks asked in the exams. So this is the weightage. You can take a screenshot, but now I'll tell you all the strategy for studying this particular subject. Okay. Now. If you go to see the, the subject is divided into three grades, one covering the most important chapters. So there are five chapters that come for around 70 marks. Now this mark we've taken is the with the options. So it would be around 130 to 140 marks. Your risk management is a definite given in your exam that's going to come for around 20 marks. Reporting comes for around 20 marks. Internal control comes for around 13 board committees and your accounts and audit related aspects come for around 10 marks. So related party transactions also a confirmed sure shot in every single exam. So you learn the section and the rule numbers. Then come your grade two chapters. So these are your grade two chapters where around six chapters come for around 35 marks. And then you have your grade three chapters where you see that in the past many attempts from these six chapters only 20 marks comes so obviously in your strategy building you know where to emphasize and study in depth then comes for your tax laws now your tax laws has already been divided by the institute into three parts your first part is your gst which comes for around 60 marks in your exams your customs that comes for around 10 marks, a combined total of uh, 70 marks is your indirect tax and 30 marks is your direct and international tax. Now, ideally from international tax, which is very predictable and something which you should pick on first while doing uh, this section, around 15 marks is from international and your other 15 marks is your direct tax. Now this is an average weightage that I'm giving you. So let's look at how many chapters there are and what are the marks for it. So this is the each chapter what weightage it has come in the exam. Okay. So if you want you can take a screenshot and then put it up in your books. I have divided these chapters into three grades. Okay. So let's check that. So this is the important part first there are five chapters in your exams which comes for around 80 marks in your paper so that is your supply the procedural compliance under gst your international taxation itc because itc a short short exam question comes with respect to the sums okay then comes your uh, taxation of companies for 11 marks so these five chapters come for around 80 marks then if we see the grade two chapters, there are seven chapters which comes for around 40 marks. So these are your seven chapters which comes for around 40 marks. Then we talk about the grade three chapters where if you see in the past examination, nine chapters come for around only 10 marks. So this is the further distribution. You can take a screenshot of this. Okay. Now, let's get into the next part that is your subject called as drafting. Now, drafting very, very important. It's a super simple subject and super scoring subject. The strategy is very, very important. 
first we will see the chapter wise weightage so this is the chapter wise weightage in drafting okay now i will take you all through the grades of these chapters dividing into three different grades so first is your grade one chapters okay now if we see the analysis in the past exam mostly they are asking from all the chapters but there are some chapters where they are heavy they are asking for good amount of marks that's it's your secretarial practice in drafting notice that's 18 marks your pleadings is for 18 marks your drafting in convenience is for 17 marks and your juris uh, judicial and administrative framework is for 17 marks so this entire four chapters comes for around 70 marks in your paper then comes your grade two chapters where there are five chapters for around 60 marks in your exams so your general principles your deeds the fourth part art of uh, writing opinions these are all in your two ch two chapters for around 60 marks okay grade two chapters that's five chapters for 16 marks and the grade three chapters are four chapters for 30 marks in your exam okay now going next to your next subject that's your secretarial audit so this secretarial audit is done by company secretaries the bifurcation has already been given in your exams where if you see it's divided in two parts your first part is compliance management which is 40 marks that is seven chapters and your secretarial audit and due diligence is 60 marks but you have 13 chapters to study for it so let's check the chapter wise weightage okay of due diligence so this is your uh, chapter wise weightage okay for each one you can check or uh, take a screenshot of it and put it up in your uh, modules now let's check it into the different grades now the grade one chapters if you notice there are seven chapters coming for around 70 marks now which are these 70 chapters seven chapters that's your compliance kyc secretarial audit due diligence your other audits your compliance framework and your documentation so these are the important then you have your grade two chapters where eight chapters comes for around 50 marks in your exams and the grade three chapters where five chapters are coming for around 15 marks in your examination you can take a screenshot and study accordingly okay then comes to your next subject which is your corporate restructuring now corporate restructuring has two parts okay your part a has 50 marks that's mergers takeovers okay they are your chapters and part b is mostly about insolvency bankruptcy code and insolvency that's 14 chapters for 50 marks part a is 13 chapters for 50 marks now if we see the part a and its chapter wise weightage okay you want you can take a screenshot of this now next is i'm divided into the grades so let's check into the grades as well so your grade one chapters there are four chapters for coming for around 30 marks in your exams okay that's your types of corporate restructuring your valuation acquisition that's your takeover Com competition act so these are your chapters in your grade one your grade two chapters there are five chapters coming for around 20 marks in your exams so you have uh, these chapters given and then your grade three chapters there are four chapters that come for around 10 marks in your exam so this is the average of the past multiple attempts so you know that you know the new exams also don't shift too much from the average now your part b now this is the part b your each chapter wise weightage i have put it up okay you can note it down in your modules now let's get into the grades of it so your grade one chapters grade one chapters there are three chapters for 20 marks in your exams your liquidation role of ip drt surface and your these chapters are there in your grade one then comes your grade two chapters and then we have your grade three chapters okay where you see that the grade three five chapters are coming for an average of 10 marks in your exams okay then comes your corporate disputes 
Now corporate disputes, there are very few chapters and if you notice that the marks are also ex in the exam, they ask in from every single chapter. Okay, but there are some chapters which have high weightage. So let's divide that into three grades again. So grade one chapters, okay, there are three chapters for 20 marks. Okay, so if we see your grade one chapter, there are three chapters for 65 marks in your exams. That's your regulatory action, your adjudication, relief and remedies. This is there. Okay, so you see around 65 marks. Grade two chapters are your fraud, crisis management and misrepresentation are your grade two chapters where three chapters come for around 50 marks and your three chapters come for around 20 marks. That's your corporate dispute, shareholder de uh, democracy and your class action suits. That's mostly a chapter one, two, three. You see it's very, it's very simple. So therefore they have not asked too much from that examination. Okay. Then coming to your corporate funding, your group three, first subject is your corporate funding. Now corporate funding again is divided into two parts. Your funding aspect is 60 marks. That's your 12 chapters and your listing is 40 marks, four chapters. Okay. So let's get into that. And this is the chapter wise weightage. Okay. And uh, now we'll divide it into different grades. Now the grade one chapters, the grade one chapters are four chapters for 70 marks, four chapters for 70 marks in your exam, your listing debt funding in Indian fund base, government debt and bank banking finance, Indian equity, public funding. Okay. So you have four chapters and your international listing. So all ask for heavy marks in your exams. Then comes your grade two chapters, grade two chapters are four chapters for 40 marks. So you can check it up and then your seven chapters for 25 marks in your exams. So now these are all your closed books. Now coming for open book exam that your multidisciplinary case studies, which is also to be very strategically studied. This is the chapter wise weightage for it. Okay. Now, the optional paper which you have taken, I have not divided that. This you can take a screenshot of it. Okay. Your grade one chapters, two chapters for 50 marks. That's your business strategy and management and governance issue. So very, very important. These are grade one chapters, grade two chapters, three chapters for 30 marks. And then you have your grade three chapters where three chapters for 20 marks in your exam. This is for the open book. For the optional, it depends on which you've taken. So I'm not covered that. Okay. Wish you all, all the very best. It's time to begin and also join the telegram group, which is given in the link below and the WhatsApp group for CS professional students, especially, and also share this video with all CS professional students. You never know. This might really help someone clear the exams. Wish you all, all the best. Thank you.